Let's talk about translating data between relations and JSON documents. Mapping relations to JSON is fairly easy. Say we have a person relation here. To translate it to a JSON document, we just write it out as a tree like this. And then we just walk the tree from the root and each branch from the root becomes an object. And we get the resulting document shown here on the right. But what if we have two relations? We can obviously map each relation into its own document using the algorithm from the previous slide. Or we can inline a relation into another thanks to the semi-structured nature of JSON. For instance, here we inlined each person's order as part of each person's object in the JSON document itself. That said, inlining multiple relations into the same documents can be difficult. For instance, here we have persons, their orders, and product information. If we want to store all of this in a single JSON file, then we have three choices. Store three separate JSON documents. Store a single document, but with the top level from the root being person objects. Then each person stores the orders they placed. And finally, within each order, store the product information. In that case, the product information is duplicated if the same product is ordered, ordered multiple times. Or we can store product information at the, at the top level. Then each product stores the orders that were placed for that particular product. And furthermore, within each order stores the customer's information. Here, person objects are duplicated instead. So in general, there isn't really a very good way to store these many, many key relationships if we want to keep everything in the same JSON document. So what about translating JSON documents into relations? Turns out that this is also quite straightforward, but with a few caveats. For instance, here, Joe doesn't have a phone number. So we need to represent it using nulls like this shown here in the right. Now, what about those people who have multiple phone numbers? Well, it turns out we can't store them in a single table due to the first normal form. So what do we do? We have to normalize it into multiple tables as we learned earlier in the relational decomposition module. What about objects with different keys? Here we only have the first name for Sue, but we have the full name for John. The same happens with nested relations. For instance, we have an array of person objects, and each person object contains another array of phone numbers that the person owns. Or we have an array consisting of person objects and also book objects together. These are harder cases to represent in the relational model as we need to use multiple relations to store such data and then making sure that they are normalized as we learned earlier. 